Hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 18. And yes, you've guessed it, we're still working on the pig problem. We're getting there, we're getting there. We just finished feeding them. And we're going to add a new daily chore. And that's to go through our stock of pigs <laughs> as such and sell off all those male boars or those boars boars can only be male so every morning we will we'll go through see what we've got see what can be sold so anything female no piglets male no porkers female no piglets porker male there we go it's over a hundred so as long as it's over a hundred euros we can sell it So not quite a boar yet, but uh, we actually really want to sell them as porkers because once they become boars, we become we could have problems with uh, fighting as such. It's another porker, 145. That's good. We'll sell those. 60 of those it brings in some reasonable income as well. So yeah, any. Any male porker or boar that is over a hundred euros gets sold. That's for the interim. I think eventually we will find that we will be getting into a situation where, well, actually, I, I think we will have them all the time. But I may have to get to a stage where I separate them out first for a while. There's another nine grand no that's not we're not selling those because those are females and that'll be our added to our daily chores so every morning or well, the beginning of every month we'll go through the pig stock and we will um, sell what we can it does bring in a nice bit of income so let's just go and collect some of our stock I wasn't really going to show this, but we do have a problem. As you can see as we're driving past here, all our vegetable plants are dead. We need to revive them. Something will be missing, some input. I'm sure I just put compost in a little while ago, so it shouldn't be compost. And I think water is okay. So I'm going to say it's probably the fertilizer. The organic f uh, plant fertilizer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The fruit and vegetable fertilizer is at zero. So we'll go and buy some of that in. Get those plants revived. I don't think we've lost too much. It's probably rain out during the course of the night. There we go. Put 4,000 liters in there. That should keep us going for a little while. This one I think is all right. Yep, everything's going okay there. No problems there. And the other greenhouse is also pretty much up to scratch. But we've dropped the ball a couple of times now on the, uh, on um, especially this um, this greenhouse. We're going to have to pay pay a bit more attention to that. But of course, as we get more and more chores and um, more and more things to do these things can happen as long as we catch them quite quickly I'm okay with that right so we just have, make some quick sales bring some income in this looks like it could be quite nice income I like the income part of the farming. <laughs> it means we can do things. And uh, we've been struggling for the first first couple of months while we've been getting things going. But I think we, uh, now that we're getting some income from the pigs as well, I think, we, I think we're doing okay. Right, so I'm going to 
start on something new so we're going to collect the organic waste from the greenhouses and we're going to start making some fertilizer I think we should be able to get a reasonable batch of fertilizer I'm hoping for about uh, to put in about oh, 30,000 litres liter ish I don't think it will be self-sufficient for quite a while but yeah so what have we got there about 4,500 this is this has got quite a bit in it now and of course we will be putting in more greenhouses as we go along there we go there's 12,000 there's a little bit more in there so the compost clamp works the same as the silage clamp you need to put it in compact it and cover it and then it will ferment or change into compost decompose into compost compost some people say and then we can put it back into our greenhouses nice bit of recycling there which of course fits in completely with our principles as such as I mentioned I'm not sure we'll be self-sufficient yet on compost but uh, any compost that we can make ourselves means we don't have to buy it in so that's pretty good we can't complain about that that should be fine let's get this tipped out here not sure what I'm waiting for there we go spread it out a little bit I'm going to keep it sort of central there so that we don't lose any it's not like grass where you've got heaps of the stuff if you lose the bit it doesn't really matter this is I wouldn't say it's gold dust but it's money All right, so that's the first 12,000 into the into the clamp wonder if we I think we should get a, another full load here just about a full load we should also have some at the some compost at the other greenhouse yeah, so we've got another full load not not much left in there I don't think we'll get quite another full load but uh, I think it'll take us to over 30,000 litres so we cannot complain about that whoops reversing skills been put to the test again failing horribly well not horribly but not doing a great job yeah, it's not too bad so that will be once this is in it will be 24,000 litres in here just got a little bit from the from greenhouse number one and then we've got a reasonable amount but of course it hasn't been going as long as greenhouse number one and greenhouse number two that's good enough yep gives us enough space to drive around or to comp drive around to compact the the compost Let's pick up this last little bit. Don't want to waste any. And then we'll nip onto greenhouse number, or big greenhouse number two. Let's see if we get a full load. Don't think so. It's a bit difficult to tell. You can't really guesstimate by what you see in the what's that yeah not quite 
It's not far off, it's good enough. Probably another six months before we have to do it again. So I'm gonna say we're not self-sufficient on compost yet. We'll have to get a couple more greenhouses before we can. But then of course we've got more greenhouses to feed, so yeah, not sure we can become fully self-sufficient on compost but as I mentioned earlier any that we make ourselves means we don't have to buy it we don't have to spend money on it well, I suppose we do spend a bit of money on it in terms of the diesel to uh, to bring it out here and or to, to load the um, the clamp and there'll be some diesel when we when we take the compost out but uh, negligible compared to buying it, even though compost is pretty cheap. Still, we're using our own product. We like that. Right, so we've got that all covered, so that's all done. Just uh, fertilizing the two, the last two fields that we need to plant. We can put corn in here. get that done make sure everything is fertilized shouldn't take us too long to get the uh, corn planted I missed quite a few little spots not too worried about that want to get that long slither there quite often those small ones are actually composted or not composted or fertilized We've got compost on their brain now <laughs> so as I mentioned in the last episode we plant corn in these two fields this field and the field across the road which we've already fertilized and um, that will then um, be harvested most probably a month after the sorghum the two sorghum fields that we planted in the last episode and that should give us a little bit of continuity on base food for the pigs whether it's going to be enough time is going to tell we'll have to wait and see my general feeling is probably only going to last a few months Make sure we're planting the right stuff. Yeah, corn. Don't know why the yield bonus is only at oh, it's at hundred percent in some places, but yeah, there might be little bits of uh, rolling mist. Oh no, we haven't rolled this field yet. We're only planting it. A little bit of fertilizer misting or something. Quite often at the edge of fields you're not getting a hundred percent and you just walk in a couple of feet and it's at a hundred percent in terms of yield. This planter works very well as well. Um, got a reasonable width and our tractor handles, our Hurleyman handles it quite easily. There you could feel yourself being pushed down the hill a little bit there. We'll just do a couple of little sections and then we'll jump cut to the end. Yep, so we're coming to the end of our um, working on our pig feed it's been a long laborious route it's going to probably take up a lot of our time during the course of this series we won't necessarily be showing all of it we'll just show bits and pieces let you know what we're doing just to keep the continuity up as such
feel yourself being pushed down that hill by the way. It's not too bad though. It's not like we uh, slip sliding or anything like that. It's quite interesting that we don't have square fields that we are making use of space. There's a bit of space in between these trees that we could possibly use for something, not sure what. Maybe plant a couple of apple trees or something like that in in between the spaces just to make, maximize it and still have the benefit of trees. Lots of little things that we can do with the open spaces. But we must leave, as I've said before, we must leave nature route, nature trails. Or trails for nature. Right, we just about finished this one now. It's got this little area around the tree. I'm going to have to rejig that the next time I plant. Um, or before I plant, make little islands around the trees on this field and the field across the road just because um, I did put a I think it I think it'll create a little bit of a problem with uh, with workers when we have to start using workers and as we go along I do want to start using workers to simulate where um, to simulate um, employing town folk there we go that's good that's that finished go and get this field started Okay, got to try and line this up a little bit better. Swing around. Oh dear. <laughs> I forgot to, forgot to put it down. <laughs> oh yeah. Try and plant most of the ploughed area so that we don't lose too much stock as such. Yeah, so we're going to have to look at um, how we harvest all this stuff, all this stuff, all the crops that we're planting. They're going to come through at different times, so it's not going to be long before we need to get ourselves a little harvester. Um, and I think the harvester will be the main priority. Well, the problem is we can't buy a harvest in terms of our rules because there's nothing that is electric that harvests. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be one of our biggest costs. So we'll probably have to lease a harvester at the beginning of the harvesting seasons and just hang on to it so that we don't have to uh, play the, pay the initial cost. There'll be daily costs and of course, there'll be per hour costs as we um, as we harvest. So we we've got to harvest as quickly as possible as well. Bring down our costs. It's all part of managing the eco farm as such. Of course, we still got to plant uh, plant the trees when we when we do lease the vehicle. So that's that's probably a couple of thousand. I think it's probably three, maybe four and a half thousand to plant the trees. So yeah, yeah, that's it's not bad because that simulates the more expensive nature of eco stroke organic farming as well. 
because to a large extent we we are organic as well as eco-friendly because we're using only natural fertilizers and of course that at this point in time even in real life is more expensive than than traditional farming just about finished this lap and then we'll uh, jump cut to the end yeah it's gone pretty smoothly this planting really happy that we've got the composting going getting used to selling our pigs as I said we're just about finished now on the on Operation Pigs should have thought about that name earlier on I think it's been about what three or four episodes that we've been working on it of course we've done other little bits pieces in between but it's been our main focus was to be able to get um, pigs going or be become self-sufficient on pig, pig food it'll only be a couple of months before we can start uh, rotating our sows the good thing of course about pigs is they do breed really really quickly and in big numbers that makes a big difference. That's why I think I'm going to have, a, have to have a couple of uh, pig fattening pens as such. Maybe take the, uh, the male um, piglets out until they become porkers every, every time, or well, every month. because we're pushing the limits of uh, uh, our pig pen is only rated for a thousand pigs so and we're hitting those rim uh, limits <laughs> those limits already right we're just about finished now that, um, that tree in particular we're going to have to do something about building an island around it just to um, make it easier for the workers But for now, we'll uh, plant as close as we can get to it. Yeah, it's not, not, not much more we can do it. Really. Oh dear. That's good enough, I think. Right, so that's that done. Let's get the rolling done. And I have uh, put this onto a. I did start putting and I put the top field onto a. onto course play and it worked out okay. We got stuck a couple of times. But that's going to be part of the nature. But the bulk of it was done by. Um, by a worker as this field was. We've just taken over from them to finish it off and that's the rolling done at a reasonable time just finish off with a couple more passes quite nice because you can see more or less where it needs to be done well I think that's where we're going to end this episode we will uh, catch you in the next one where hopefully we won't be doing too much pig stuff if you've enjoyed this episode please do like and subscribe 
and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.